Do you know what, if there's one thing that I hate about filming videos, it's the intro because I literally can't do it, like I sound like a fucking twat. Right, so in today's video I'm going to be filming a review on the Project Lip Lip Pumper. Um, I got this off of Beauty Bay. Um, I wasn't intending on getting it, I went on there for something else, but it caught my eye. The reason why I bought this was because one of the reviews on there really grabbed me. I'm going to read it to you. So it says... So it says, this stuff really works, but ouch. So I've tried a few plumping products before and well aware of the tingling sensation, but this is on another level. My lips look very plump, but feel like they are on fire. I've wiped it off, tried putting on cold flannel on my lips, but they're still burning. Worth the pain? Well, kind of. This product really does work, but it's not for the faint hearted. Now, I like that review. I was like, right, I want to try it now. Now I've seen that. Because I'm all for bigger lips. Obviously, I've not got the smallest lips ever anyway um but i'm all for making them look more plump and fuller and like a little bit more red as well so i got this little guy it was 12 pounds um i'm going to show you um how to do it on your lips first and then i'm going to talk you through my thoughts and things afterwards what it says on the box is apply generously on the lips and over the lip line i've never heard a lip pumper say apply it over the lip line usually they say don't do that because then it will make that bit red but we're going to do that anyway, just to see. It says press your lips together to activate and then reapply to maximise results. So I have used this before. I was going to do this video as a first impressions, but it actually came a lot sooner than I thought. And I didn't get time to film the video when it came. So I just thought I'd try it and then I could do like an actual pumper review for you when I've tried it a few times. So I'm going to do it for you now so that you can see. So I'm going to do what it says. I'm just going to apply it generously and over the lip line. doesn't really have much of a smell at all it kind of smells like cheap lipsticks you know what I mean like kind of like play-doh right so now I'm just gonna apply a little over the lip line Right, so I've applied it generously and over the lip line like it said and now I'm going to press together to activate it. So now you'll see in a minute one of the reasons why I don't like this product, okay? So let me just press my lips together for a few seconds and then you'll see. Okay, so can you see, like, this is going to be a bit gross. Can you see all in there? <coughs> oh, I got it in my mouth. Like, look at this. Look at this. And, I mean, can we see? Like, what is going on? And I'm not even joking. This stuff gets in your mouth so bad. Like, I've never known a lip product to get in my mouth like this one. It's not like I... Oh, it's not like I applied it in my mouth, but it's in my mouth. It's on my tongue, and I can feel it at the back of my throat, and it hurts. Like, it burns my tongue. And it hurts the back of my throat. It, like I'm not even joking. It's like there at the back of my throat. I don't even know how it got there that fast. But look, I'm going to press my lips together again. And then you'll see the gunk appear in the middle of my lips again. It's literally, I don't even know what is happening. But like, look. What is that? I don't want to walk around with like gunk in my mouth. Like as you can see, even though I scraped most of it off, it's doing it again. Um, and I know it says apply generously, but I have tried this uh, a few times when I haven't applied it generously and just applied like a really thin layer, and it still does the same thing where it really collects in the inside of your mouth. And literally, like I hate it when glosses and stuff do that. So, yeah. It's just, for me, I mean, it doesn't even hurt that much. For me, I can feel it. It definitely, like, doesn't hurt. It just, like, tingles. But I can't deal with the gunk in the middle of the mouth, like, honestly. And if you don't press your lips together, it doesn't work. Because I've tried that as well. So, I mean, it definitely it does make my lips look bigger. Like, I'll try and put before and after on the screen, if I can do that. I'm not very good at editing at the moment. But if I can do that, I'll try and do that for you. But... Yeah, I mean, I feel like it has made my lips look bigger, but like I said, I can't deal with the gunk situation, like, seriously. 
so overall would i recommend this um no because i don't feel like it works i mean i've got the Too faced lip injection and that works just the same as this but i do not get the whole gunky thing in the center of my lips i was actually wearing this um at work i put it on before i went back on to the shop floor after my break and all of my colleagues were like what is on your lips because it was all like gunk in my mouth and that is not a pretty look i mean i would rather have small lips and not have gunk on my lips than use this so yeah it's a no from me i mean it's 12 pounds as well so it's not the cheapest um obviously it's cheaper than like the Too faced one and things like that but i just feel like this i mean has it done it again even when i'm talking i feel like it's collecting i mean not really but yeah overall view of this i think i would give it like four out of ten um it does work it does make your lips look bigger but it hurts it gets to the back of your throat and it collects so yeah i would not recommend getting this i would definitely recommend getting the Too faced lip injection over this one um 100 so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you did then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel that would mean a lot to me thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye